Hello, and welcome to this online training session of the budgeting process within our new ERP financial system. The session will last approximately 10 minutes. Please note, if you cannot hear the audio on this slide, please pause the module and adjust your settings before continuing. By the end of this module, you will be able to explain the concept of budgeting and why it is important, explain the benefits of the budgeting process within the new ERP system, correctly complete a budget upload sheet, and you will know where to go to get help if you need it. So, what is a budget? A budget is a plan of expenditure for the financial year, which in Lower and Borough Council runs from April to March. Central Finance will notify your department of your overall budget for the year by the end of February. The budget is effectively the pot of money you have to spend this year. Why is the budget important? It is important because it allows you to track your expenditure over the year to see if it is likely that you will over or underspend. So a budget allows you to break down your planned expenditure month by month to see if you're on plan. With the introduction of the new ERP financial system, there is a new simplified process for recording budget data. Central Finance will allot you a budget for the year. They will only notify you of your overall pot of money. Your department head then breaks down that budget across the different types of expenditure. You will enter those figures onto the budget upload sheet and then send them to Central Finance who in turn will upload them into the system. This will allow you to track the different types of expenditure and not just the overall sum. Looking at the process in more detail, Central Finance will use the budget upload sheet to upload these figures into the system. However, it is your responsibility to complete this sheet for your department with the relevant figures. Your department head will advise you of the budget breakdown and who will be actually completing the spreadsheet. You can download a blank copy of the budget upload sheet from SharePoint and then complete it to see your own department's details. And then finally you'll pass this to Central Finance who will upload it to the system. How will this benefit you as a user? Firstly, you will have less data to enter for your budgets because the distribution key feature automatically distributes budgets across months, quarters and years. Because the budgets are now loaded onto a central system, rather than being held locally on a spreadsheet, they will be available for all users who have access to ERP financials to view. Finally, you will now be able to run quick yet sophisticated reports to view your budgets against actual expenditure. Here's an example of a budget upload sheet. In cell B1, the budget upload type should be DLBUD. There's no need to change that, it will already be set that way in the copy that you download. When you download a copy, you should save it into P, Budgets Data Import, giving it the name DLBUD and then four digits to represent your department. You can see here we have chosen 1065 to represent highways and then two digits to represent the start of the financial year of the budget. So here it's 10 to represent 2010 and then two digits representing the end of the financial year of the budget. So here it is 11 as this financial year ends in 2011. When you save the file you need to enter its location name in the file name field in cell B2. Then we come on to four default fields. The default budget type should always be BU. Again this will be in the copy that you download and you don't need to change that. The default fiscal year should always be the starting year of your budget. So here it's 2010 as this is the budget from the year 2010 into 2011. The default currency is the currency your figures are in so this should always be GBP. And lastly you can set a default distrib key or distribution key. The distribution key determines how the total amount of the budget for a particular area is allotted. For example, is it assigned all in one lump sum? Or is it allotted equally over the year, with a twelfth of the amount added to the budget each month? You can set a default distribution key here, which will be used as the default value for all entry lines unless they are given another entry of their own. But it is also possible to leave this entry blank and just define the distribution key on a line by line basis and that's what we're going to do in this example. So once you've completed these default fields you need to enter the lines of detail. In the account column enter the four digit number representing the account to which you're assigning some of your budget. 
So here we are going to assign some money to 3010. In the Amount column, enter the amount you are assigning to that account for the whole year. Note that you should not enter any currency sign, nor any commas or full stops. Amounts should be entered in round pounds only. Here we are going to allot £12,000 to account 3010, or 3010. Because you enter the default currency of GBP in the upper area, you can leave the currency column blank. The description column should just contain the word budget for each row. Make sure that when you add a row, you also complete this column. The number 1 column should be left set to 0. The period column is used to define the starting period of your budget assignment to that account. Generally, this will be the first period of the financial year. So you can see here on most of the lines it is set to 2010-01, meaning that the money will be moved into the budget for that account starting from the first period of the financial year, that is, in April of 2010. However, on the fourth line it is set to 2010-07, which means that no money will be assigned to account 4010 until the seventh period of the financial year, that is October of 2010. The value 1, value 2 and value 3 fields should all be left as zero. Finally, we have the distribution key column so that we can define the distribution key on a line-by-line -line basis. To allot all the money to a particular account in one lump sum in the starting period, enter a distribution key of 99. So you can see here for this line, in 2010-07, that is October, £13,000 will be allotted to the account of 4010. The next line down, account 4050, will receive £30,000 in its budget in one lump sum in the first period of the financial year, that is April. Ditto for the next line down. Account 7050 will receive £22,000 allotted to it again in April 2010. So use the distribution key 99 for allotting the money in one lump sum. Use the distribution key 4 to allot the money in four equal amounts at the beginning of each quarter. So here Beginning in April, we'll get £31,000 allotted to account 3020 in four equal amounts. In April, July, October and January, the account's budget will be increased by £7,750. Likewise, for the next line, account 3030 will get £1,000 distributed equally across the four quarters, so it will get £250 allotted to it in April, July, October and January. Finally, Use the distribution key of 12 to allot the money in 12 equal amounts. For account 3010, we're going to allot £12,000 in 12 equal amounts beginning in April, so each month the budget will be increased by £1,000. For more information on distribution keys and other available options, speak to your central finance contact. Once you have completed a line for each account, with the amount you are going to allot to it, the beginning period for that allotment and the distribution key with how the money will be allotted over the year, ensure that the last line in your spreadsheet contains the word END in lower case in the Columns column. Then save the spreadsheet and let your central finance contact know that it has been completed. They will then go into the P Budgets Data Import folder, find your spreadsheet and upload the figures into the system. You can then use those figures to track your expenditure over the year and also to help with your forecasting. If you need any further help, both with this process and over the year, contact your central finance team on extension 4575. Depending on your department, that will be either Eileen Holt, Terry Smith or Kerry Kroll. To recap the budgeting process then, central finance will allot you a budget for the year, your department head then breaks down that budget across the different types of expenditure. You'll enter those figures onto the budget upload sheet and central finance will upload them into the system. Over the year, you can then report on your actual expenditure versus your budget. For more help on this process, as well as speaking to central finance, you can use the central finance area on SharePoint to find this and other relevant online learning modules. You'll find a full list of distribution keys there and other useful budgeting resources, including the budget upload sheet. So, you should now know how to Explain the concept of budgeting and why it is important Explain the benefits of the budgeting process within the new ERP system 
correctly complete a budget upload sheet and know where to get help if you need it. That is the end of this training module. Please view the other videos on this page for further guidance on how to use the new ERP financial system. Thank you for listening.